you don't have to look far to find goats on Great Keppel. They outnumber people and they're beginning to think they own the island. So what's happened to the bushes? Well, the goats are invaded basically. We get uh, goats in uh, seven or eight or ten at a time, four times a day, um, which in 54 years we've never seen. They've decimated Brett Loraway's garden and some are getting aggressive. The goat attacked the dog and then uh, turned on me. Goats were first introduced by seafarers, but the Capricorn Conservation Council estimates numbers have now climbed to more than 600. They can do a lot of damage to the native grasses and other pasture areas and of course they're continuously damaging the soil which is eroding and causing water quality problems run off into the barrier reef. Under state government conditions the island's primary leasee, Tower Holdings, is required to control all declared pests but environmentalists say nothing has been done for years. Locals fear if the goat population continues to grow it could cause irreversible environmental damage and they want the state government to step in before it's too late. But the Department of Natural Resources says enforcement of pest control is the responsibility of local council. I think rather than do finger pointing to see who should have been doing what, we've asked all of those landholders to give us a date next week when they can come together uh, and we want to help them put a plan in place. Tower Holdings says it is planning on removing the goats in the future, but for now their numbers look set to grow. Less than two weeks old. Elise Edwards, ABC News, Great Keppel Island.